Happy lunch hour, gang. I swear, sometimes I got to get further and further and further from the camera to do these things. <laughs> this time is no exception because this thing's huge. What I have in front of me here is the new Anchor Everfrost solar powered cooler. Now, you know, we've looked at solar powered coolers before. Uh, one I've talked about, the Echo Power Lion Cooler. You know I've got one of those. I've had it for a couple of years. Great product. I've looked at some other ones that have been complete junk. This one is a step in the right direction. Let's put it that way. Good cooler. Uh, and obviously worthwhile of being considered if you're looking for something along these lines. For storing food, for keeping medicine cold, for whatever. This one in particular is a 43 liter, about 45 quart, solar powered cooler. Okay. And obviously it works like any other cooler. Put stuff in there, you just don't need ice. So it means you don't have all that extra space taken up. You can stock this full of pounds and pounds and pounds and pounds of meat or water, or medicine, or a combination thereof, okay? The advantage to these things, and to pretty much everything in technology as we've seen, is the quality keeps going up, and the prices keep going down. Now, y'all know the brand Anchor. Uh, it is a exceptional quality company, uh, whether it be Bluetooth devices or you know speakers. I showed you a solar generator set up for them. Another great product. And of course, this is brought to us from Elliot over at Wellbots as per normal. Okay. I want to give you some of the benefits of this one so you can add this to the things to think of. Like most everything else, this is chargeable by AC. You can plug it into the car cigarette lighter. So if you're going to grandma's house and you want to keep something cold, okay, you can plug it in the car, stick it in the back of the SUV or in the back seat of the car or whatever. Plug it in, keep everything cold on the road trip. Okay. Powered by solar as well. Okay. This will take up to a hundred watts of solar input. Now, if I go over on the side here, and this is where the battery is, okay, if I pull this out, there's your lithium iron phosphate battery, okay. If you notice something about this, this is of decent size, okay, it, it's, I'd say, a, about the size of a motorcycle battery, maybe a little bit bigger than that, okay. But here's the catch where this has improved over the course of years. The battery in this is 299 watt hours. That's about 50% more than the Anchor cool or I'm sorry, than the Echo Power cooler I showed you a couple of years ago. I think that was 195 or something. I ran this, obviously tested it. Now the the thermostat on this goes from 68 degrees down to negative four. So if you want to do deep freeze with this, I mean, four below, I mean, you think about what you keep your freezer at at home, it's probably about mm, 27, okay? But if you want to do deep freeze, you can with this. Not that you're going to keep a whole lot of stuff at 68 degrees, but... So I tested this and took it from 68 degrees straight out of the box, okay? Room temperature, room temperature is probably about 75, but the thermometer only goes to 68. And I got it down to freezing in 18 minutes on AC power. Just plugged it in and watched the thermometer go whoosh, down. Okay. With the 299 watt hour battery, this will run off of battery power for nearly two days, about 42 hours. Okay, that's what they claim. Now, no, I didn't try to run the battery down all the way or anything. I'm going to take the word from that. Of course, if you leave this out in Las Vegas, where apparently it was 120 degrees yesterday, 
sure it's probably going to warm up a little bit quicker. It's a dark color, okay? But anybody with common sense knows you put a cooler in the shade. So you're getting 50% more life out of your battery than this. You wanna go somewhere for a weekend? You don't even need to take anything with you to charge. This thing will run the whole weekend. If you want to, a little portable solar panel will keep this running basically non-stop for you. Or of course, if you wanna keep it in the house, just plug it into the wall and use the battery as UPS, okay? Other nice little features this thing has. I don't know if you can see it right up here in front. Oh, if I could reach it, there you go. That's a bottle opener, okay? You wanna take this out to the beach? You wanna take it to a picnic or whatever it is? There's your bottle opener for the can of soda, can of beer, or bottle of beer, or whatever you got. There you go, you're all set, okay? Portability. As you can kind of see right there in the front, yeah, it's on wheels, okay? Has a handle up here, so it rolls like suitcase. And the nice part about it is, is that this can double as a table. You just flip the bar down here, and now you've got a little cutting board or a little table. Don't sit on it, it's not that strong, okay? But so you've got all those advantages to it. Like I said, for emergency storage of meat, let's say you're bugging out, okay? There you go, you've got some meat, you need to take some perishable supplies with you, throw this in the car, you're all good to go. Now, weight-wise, this thing weighs about 50 pounds. You know, it's got a battery in it, okay? It's gonna be a little heavy, but it weighs about 50 pounds. It's on wheels, it's portable, no big deal. But make sure if you plan on putting this in a car or moving it, something like that, that you have the capacity to lift up to 40 or 50 pounds. Now, like I said, this one is a 45 quart, 43 liter cooler. If that's too much space for you, they've got a 33 liter. If you need a bigger one, they've got a 53 liter one, okay? So you can add or subtract 10 quarts. Elliot's got all of them, all right? So you can take a look at it. But I wanted to show you this because it's a good idea to have something like this in your preps, especially if you don't have a, uh, a big solar setup, solar generators or whatever to run your refrigerator or you do plan on bugging out or you like to go camping or anything of the sort, put this out on the boat or you're going fishing, who knows, or just going to the beach. You've got something along the lines, just a plan there. So wanted to show you that. Now, in regards to giveaways going forward, I'm going to change it up a little bit and I'm going to explain why because I'm beginning to notice that we are having people that come in to, when I do a review video, knowing we're gonna give something away, they come in, they subscribe, subscriber numbers go way up, and then the day after the giveaway, the subscriber numbers go way down. So I'm going to change this up a little bit. On the live streams where I do a giveaway, you're going to have to be a subscriber from before I did this review. Okay, I'm going to do this going forward. So a lot of you guys know for the longest time we've limited it to only subscribers that have been for 24 hours or whatever can comment in the videos. When I do a giveaway, and we're going to give away one of these tomorrow night on the live stream, Tuesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, everybody's going to, who is going to be able to comment is going to have to have been a subscriber since yesterday. Okay. So we're going to go back. I'm going, to, the reason I'm doing that is I want preppers to win these prizes. You know, people that follow the channel, <laughs> not necessarily somebody who's going in just looking for free stuff. Okay. So that's that. So just be aware. Uh, if you are finding this video for the first time and you're going to go, Hey, you know what? I want to win that. I'm going to subscribe right now not going to matter. You're not going to be eligible to win. Just saying. This is for channel subscribers, not for gift grabbers, if you will. So 
We are going to give one of these away tomorrow night on a live stream, as per normal. Uh, it is contiguous U.S. only, lower 48. You must enter in primary comment the state in which you live in. And somewhere in your comment must be the letter Z. I don't care. You can say I live in Wisconsin and I went to the zoo over the 4th of July. Or I live in Alabama and I'm giving my kid a quiz for our homeschooling today. That's what it's got to be. Okay? There's a reason for that too because I know we have gift grabbers that are just looking at the comments and can easily figure out what it is. So that'll change it up a little bit. Then, of course, tomorrow night on a live stream, we will go through with the random comment picker, as always. Pick somebody live, and the person will have three minutes to acknowledge their presence in the live stream. Hence, meaning, as usual, it's must be present to win. So, that's kind of how we're going to do things going from here on out. But if you are interested in buying one of these, they are currently retailing the 40, the 45 quart the one I showed you there for 5.99 okay which is about 200 bucks cheaper than the echo power like I said earlier prices have come down and then Elliot is going to give us another 10% off on top of that now the deal the 10% off and I will put the coupon code below is also uh, usable for the the package deals if you will if you want to get a second battery with it which I would advise okay because uh, you can charge the battery outside of the cooler just saying you saw me take it out you can plug the battery into your solar panel charge that while the coolers in the house okay? or if you want to get a small solar panel that comes with it uh, there's package deals like that as well you can use the 10% off on that as well. But if you are interested in grabbing one of these, I would probably move relatively quickly. I think the last time we did one on the Lion Cooler, Elliot sold out within oh, eight or 10 hours, uh, and then they didn't have them. So th these will probably move pretty quick once I've done this as well. Uh, if maybe it's not quite in your budget right now, Okay, well, make sure you enter a comment below with the instructions I gave you earlier and get your shot at winning one. Have a good afternoon, guys. Pinball out.